With the new year just around the corner, a local think tank summed up an outlook on international affairs for 2018, included our speculations on North Korea's missile technology and what would happen if they were to complete it. Yi Jong-yeon zooms in on the KNDA analysis. With North Korea's latest test of its Hwasong-15 ICBM in November, the world was left speculating what its next move would be. A South Korean think tank has attempted to provide some answers. In its report, Outlook on International Affairs for 2018, the Institute of Foreign Affairs and National Security says the biggest task left for the regime is to perfect its missile technology, with the remaining parts being re-entry technology. A successful missile launch must have three things, launch trajectory, position control and re-entry. North Korea's missiles currently have the first two, but not re-entry. But why is re-entry technology so important? Re-entry is what allows a nuclear warhead to withstand extreme heat and pressure when passing through the Earth's atmosphere. Without it, the missile would not be able to drop nuclear weapons onto its target area. That's why it's so important. The expert added that there are two possible scenarios for the future. One, North Korea doesn't succeed in its re-entry technology next year, in which case they will continue testing ICBMs. But the second scenario is what's drawing the most attention. If they do succeed, they will most likely seek disarmament talks with the United States. North Korea will most likely demand to be recognized as a nuclear state and to keep a certain level of nuclear technology in exchange for limiting their ICBM capabilities enough to attack neighboring countries. The expert added that the timeline in which this would happen could vary from a few months to a few years, but it is only a matter of time. And when that time comes, the U.S. and the regime's neighboring countries, such as South Korea and Japan, must decide on how to respond to North Korea's request to be recognized as a nuclear state. Lee Jong-yeon, Arirang News.